Vikings not too bad. What I'm about to do, I never thought I would do. I'm Alicia. I'm Ashton. I'm Guy. I'm Havana. <laughs> and we are, we are essentially, essentially wild. wild. Thanks for watching. We have arrived. Point Brown. Looks pretty good, eh? Pretty mint. Good weather. But the wind blows up most our base from the south, so we're gonna go on the other side over here. We're just trekking along the little goat track here, trying to get a spot over the other side. We can see there's a few vans on the other side here, so that's where we'll head. So get out of the wind. There's a little spot there, you could look at that. Couldn't get much closer to the beach. But it will uh, blow up this afternoon, so we wanna be on the other side out of the wind. Here we are, we found our campsite, it's pretty cool. We've still got to unhitch. Look at that. Pretty good view. Someone's been having a fiery, so we're gonna have a fire. And there's Malu straight down there, the kids are straight down there. There's a little track just down there. Awesome spot. Uh, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna send out a big rod. I've got, we caught a heap of squid yesterday, as you've as you seen. Uh, yeah, yesterday or the day before it was over at Smoky Bay. So we're gonna. I kept some squid heads. We're gonna send a whole squid head out here off the beach, and hopefully we nail big Dewey or something. That'd be sick. So this afternoon, that is the plan. I think you missed this one over here. Yeah, there's lots of bird shit. <laughs> Lucky we didn't stay at Smoky Bay any longer. Friggin' the bird shit and the tree snap. Yeah, we were parked under a tree, like on our side. At site uh, twenty, we twenty seven or twenty nine. 27 I think it was. If you can avoid 27 it'd be a good idea. This thing was just caked in shit. The tinny saved the roof, which is good. Now, just, just try and shammy, shammy this sucker off a bit. And yeah, can't, this, is, this never gets old, this, look at that. Wait for that tide to come in a bit. Rig some rods up. Put a couple of big squid heads out. Who knows what you'll catch here. Hopefully something bloody big. Not a bad way to spend the afternoon. Finally got a fish. What is it? Little whiting. <laughs> he can go back. A little all right. We've got some King George Jesse down at Smoky Bay, so... Show us how you go, Ashton, we'll be skimming. Here he goes, here he goes. Oh no, not yet. <laughs> we haven't caught for a long time with some squids and we smashed them in Smoky Bay, as, as you've seen. So now we're gonna do a catching cook. We've already cleaned them. That's the crap job. Ashton got in and helped me clean them. Didn't you, bud? Good on you, mate. I've already cooked some. Jump the cube. Super simple stuff. You get the tube, cut it into rings. All I do is get a couple of eggs, beat them up, drop the squid in, breadcrumbs. It helps if you've got heaps of breadcrumbs, which we don't. So you can see those ones are a bit light on and it's only going to get worse. And then the, the secret to it, don't cook it for too long or you'll overcook it. But look at them little golden nuggets and how are they? Good. 
Awesome. Awesome. Not a bad way. What a lunch. So we've left Smoky Bay. We're doing the catch and cook in Point Brown. So we're just around the corner. But look at this. So once I'm done, I'm going to go sit on my chair out there and take in that view. I think that's about as good as it gets. Note to self, when you're going to do a catch and cook, make sure you've got all the bloody ingredients. So we've still got all that squid there to go. <laughs> and as you can see, it's looking very grim. So we haven't really even got anything we can substitute our breadcrumbs with. I could maybe do some... Crush up some cornflakes or something. I don't know. <clears throat> we don't even have cornflakes. There you go. So this is the world's worst catch and cook. Thanks for watching. Perfect. Lou thinks it's all right, but he's got Buckley's. So I can give you the tip. So, Point Brown is where we're at on the Air Peninsula. What I'm about to do, I never thought I would do, but I'm really keen to go dive just on the edge of those rocks there. They only look shallow, so I'll just try and hug the rocks, try and see if there's any craze or maybe an abalone or something. We'll cook up some abs, that'd be all right. So time to get the gear on and you can come in the drink with me. Let's get it. Time to get ready. Is that done? There we have it guys, a bit of uh, Air Peninsula Point Brown spear fishing. If I told you that I felt extremely comfortable out in that water, I'd be lying. I was shit myself the whole time. 
because they breed the fish big down here. But we got a feed. We got a feed. Dusky Mowong too, I forgot to mention. That's the name of those fish. Two Dusky Mowong. Now, I've never eaten them. Currently they only really inhabit South WA and South Australia on the inshore reefs. So that's where I was spearing, just along that edge there. And um, yeah, apparently they reckon they're good eating, according to Google. Good eating, good substitute for snapper. Time will tell, I guess. Might end up just being crab bait. See how we go. Sitting here on the beach and I've just seen a heap of um, dolphins out there. I don't know if Kimberly can get up, but pretty cool. Wow, there's heaps. Looks like there's maybe six or eight. Whoa, heaps more. Eight or ten. Come check this out. What a way to finish the day. I can almost guarantee you that the camera won't do that justice. Like the, the colours are insane. So beautiful. Whew. She's a wild night last night. One, the only bad thing about this point brown, so there's sights. There's some spots. Right over there, you can see sort of buried down in the dune there. Over there, that's, if you're coming out here, that's where I'd want to be. So where we are, last night, it was so windy. The van was rocking, it was crazy. So, we're going to head into Streaky Bay today. That concludes our time at uh, Point Brown. Streaky Bay, here we come. We are out of there, like a dog shot in the bum. See you later, Point Brown. Awesome spot. If you can't get into Smoky Bay, because it is the car well, there's two caravan parks there, but this is only just around the corner, completely free. Awesome spot, however, it does get windy. Last night it was super windy. And the van was rocking, not for the right reasons. But all in all, great spot. If you can get a spot like over in behind the headland, then it'd be mint, it, the wind's not gonna bother you. All in all, highly recommend it. Tracking's not too bad, a little bit corrugated, but we've done far worse. What do you think? Yeah, it's a good spot, I liked it. Today was much nicer weather, uh, but it's meant to be windy again tonight, so we just thought we might as well leave. But yeah, nice spot. Now we're gonna go tackle. <laughs>